What is innovation? Innovation is making the inaccessible accessible to all. Introducing Pocket Drum, the smart wireless drumstick that allows you to drum wherever, whenever. With AeroBand's built-in Bluetooth capability and extended battery life, you can make the streets your musical playground, freeing you from being tied down by big, bulky equipment. We've partnered with professional drummers to make sure the haptic perception is as realistic as possible. The pocket drum has incredible velocity response and imperceptible latency. You will be amazed at how precise it feels. Best of all, you can connect your headphones for a truly silent experience, so you can play without disturbing others. Not only can you hear the beats, you can see them with synchronized LED lights and feel them from advanced haptic technology. With the intuitive AeroBand app, you have three different modes to learn, practice, and record your own music with. Pocket Drum is perfect for beginners or professionals. Practice your skills while traveling the world with ease. The possibilities are endless. Experience the Pocket Drum for yourself. Back us today on Indiegogo. We wanted to create something new, a fusion of past and future. An analog legend reimagined in modern form. We've spent years developing the SB01 to define what a modern synthesizer could be. It starts with a machined aluminum chassis that enables a new form factor thinner than one inch with uncompromising durability. We've created the first rechargeable analog synth with 16 hour battery that lets you take it anywhere you're going. Inspired by the golden age of synthesizers, the SB01 is an all-in-one performance instrument built for the musician first and engineered to last. It's our first design that shows who we are and where we're heading. From here, the possibilities are endless. Hi, I'm Shane. And I'm Ryan. And we're the founders of AV8 Audio. Musicians are innovators, creators, visionaries, revolutionaries. They're not afraid to challenge the status quo. We are in an age of innovation with new technology and sounds that redefine what's possible. Introducing AirPatch the first wireless effects pedal controller. AirPatch is the first wireless effects pedal controller that can interface with any pedal or signal chain. It allows musicians to control sound effects through a simple device, and it does this wirelessly. This eliminates the back and forth tap dancing, which happens while trying to activate multiple effects pedals at once. So you can do less of this, and more of this. AirPatch allows you to control multiple pedals right from your instrument. But we didn't stop there, because we wanted to get even more out of our favorite pedals. We added a momentary switching mode and reverse momentary switching, which quickly brings effects in and out of the signal, 
so you can feel free to get creative in shaping your own unique sound. Last but not least, have you ever wanted a kill switch on your guitar, but didn't want to route a hole in your beloved instrument or give up one of your knobs? Simply plug in Airpatch and you now have a kill switch that can be placed anywhere on your instrument. Airpatch is easy to use, and it's designed to fit in the small spaces of your pedal board or even underneath it. Airpatch has a long battery life that can last for multiple performances on a single charge. It has a low power indicator that tells you when you have a couple of hours left. Best of all, Airpatch has no latency and has up to 50 feet of range, line of sight. We knew that we loved the product, but we wanted the feedback of our community. So we invited as many musicians and bands as we could to test out the prototype and let us know what they think about Airpatch. We started our company Aviate Audio during our last year of college at the University at Buffalo and created our first prototype. We hit the stage and won first place at multiple business plan competitions across New York State. Our long-term goal is to develop an entire series of innovative music products. And if we're successful, Ryan will finally be able to eat something other than soup for lunch. We are a team of musicians and have first-hand experience with the limitations of our gear. So as engineers, we developed a solution that includes powerful features that make Airpatch an innovative and creative tool. We were always looking for that one thing that would help elevate your play. We have great prototypes, but we need your help to take this product to the next level. The funding from our campaign will support tooling for Airpatch so we can put it in a beautiful aluminum enclosure, FCC testing and certification so we can ensure the reliability of our wireless technology, and our participation in the NAM show where we're going to take Airpatch from crowdfunding to the commercial level. Backing our vision means supporting the next generation of innovative music products. Here at Aviate Audio, the innovation never stops. We're always looking for new ways to help you take your performance to the next level. Hi, I'm Edmund Egan from Hawken Audio. I'm thrilled to welcome you to this Kickstarter campaign for our new instrument, the Hawken Audio Continue Mini. The Continue Mini has been designed to be a portable and more affordable version of our larger Continuum fingerboards. The Continue Mini is fun to play, it has the same sound engine as the larger Continuums, and delivers its own unique and rewarding musical performance experience. Dr. Lippold Hawkins started development over 35 years ago on what was to become the modern Continuum fingerboard. Today, the Continuum has established itself as the premier multi-dimensional music controller surface ever designed. In fact, it has been the vanguard for expressive control ever since its inception as a commercial product at the beginning of this century. Many varied artists from around the world have discovered the beautiful experience that the Continuum can deliver its amazing acoustic-like capabilities really opens the door for countless types of outstanding musical expression. The Continuum really excels as a complete musical instrument, thanks to the addition of its internal sound engine, the Ega Matrix. Designed primarily by myself, the Ega Matrix creates an exceptional connection between the Continuum and its sound engine. Its novel matrix design and deep modulation structure allows for unprecedented integration with the Continuum playing surface. Now, this playing experience is going to be available in a new compact affordable package, the Continuum Mini. The Continuum Mini has exactly the same sound engine as the full-size Continuum fingerboard, delivering the same level of sound quality that Continuum owners have come to enjoy. The Continuum Mini is complete and self-contained, requiring only USB power and an audio output. Preset changes, octave switching, and system menu operations are all available directly from the Continuum Mini without the need for a computer connection. 
The Mini's playing surface can respond to incredible light touch, which leverages an underused aspect of human control, the ability of the hand to deliver delicate light touch finger input. Lighter than playing a piano or strumming a guitar, or even lighter than the action of modern MIDI keyboard controllers. Every nuance of finger movement is captured and translated into sound through interaction with this highly optimized playing surface. The Continue Mini communicates to the Ega Matrix sound engine polyphonically, which means that single note at a time performances can take advantage of the Ega Matrix's polyphonic voice structure. The Continue Mini has a bidirectional serial port. Currently, this port is used either as a pedal input or as a communication port to control voltage converters, like Hakan Audio CVC or Eviton Technologies Micro CVC. The pedal input can be used as continuous sustain, which can create expressive real-time dynamic variances within the currently sustained notes. This pedal input is also available as a source for a myriad of other modulation destinations within the Ega matrix, thanks to the sound engine's deep modulation structure. As well, due to its robust bidirectional implementation of MPE and MPE+, the Continuum Mini can control external synths or be played by external MIDI controllers. Lipwold and I are very proud of how we've been able to leverage our decades of hardware and software expertise into the Continue Mini. The Continue Mini fulfills the need for a small portable musical instrument that is intimate and expressive. This is truly a unique instrument. And with your support, we'd like to make this new Continue Mini a reality. Vintage sound, modern design. This is the VS1 analog synthesizer, a polyphonic synth designed with one primary objective, to realize the classic tone of the vintage polysynth in a modern, reliable package. To achieve this goal, we based our design on the discrete analog voice of the iconic Oberheim OBX, and we paired it with modern digital control and housed it all into an efficient 3U rack unit. The result is the raw, organic, alive sound that many feel is missing from modern polysynths. In simpler terms, the VS1 is to the OBX what our Avalon baseline synth is to the Roland TB303. Maintain the sound, the quirks, the imperfections of the classic designs, and complement it 
with modern features and control, together with a simple interface. The VS1 is bi-timbral and is available in 4, 6, and 8 voice versions. It will also be user upgradable. There is also a DIY kit version for the 8 voice. The analog voice of the VS1 is comprised of VCOs made up of discrete transistors, op amps, 5% carbon film resistors. The 12 dB multimode filter and VCA are made from discrete transistors and 3080 OTAs. And the envelope generators are made from AS3310, SEM3310 equivalent, analog ICs. To control the synth, a fast 600 MHz system module is used so that we could easily integrate USB host and peripheral support, an OLED display, and also spit out data fast and efficiently to the 16-bit digital to analog converters. It also allows us to integrate such features as a polyphonic sequencer with parameter locks and motion sequencing, as well as additional digital LFOs and envelope generators to go along with the core analog modulation sources. So for the VS1, we have completed the second prototype and are ready to go to production with many of the parts. The enclosure is 3U in size and it's going straight into production with a few minor changes we made, including the overall depth of the unit and the location of some of the holes on the rear panel. The front panel is 3mm thick textured anodized aluminum. It's a really nice satin finish, perfect for screen printing. The second prototype front panel that you see here is using an overlay. It's not silk screened like the final parts will be. All of the parts you see here are on their second or third revisions. The main board, panel board, and voice motherboard are all going through one more revision before production. The DAC board, I.O. board, and latest power supply board are all ready for production. Also, the first 1200 voice cards have already been manufactured and are in-house. Furthermore, the system module that contains the microcontroller and the memory and all the I.O. support is already currently in production. Lastly, the fan. It's fully programmable. It has temperature sensors to determine speed and efficiency. If you're concerned about fan noise, you can always scale it back or turn it off. As for the software, most of the libraries and modules of code are tested and working on a prototype setup. This includes the USB host and peripheral, DIN MIDI, CV DAC handling, scanning of the switches and potentiometers, polyphonic sequencer and arpeggiator. What has not been started yet is the OLED display implementation. We're still working on the workflow to determine what will be displayed during use. Also, the digital envelopes have not been implemented yet. As a company, Abstract Instruments has been around now for over six years. The VS1 will be our second synth and eighth product overall. We have over 26 years experience in product development and engineering, have worked for several well-known companies, and have been involved in the design of over 100 audio products. We have a 2,500 square foot office in Los Angeles where we do all product development and final assembly. We're launching here on Kickstarter as the platform is a credible way to accept pledges essentially pre-orders, for a product that is not yet shipping, and also allows us to determine demand in scale manufacturing. Also, if funding is successful, we will be adding a program manager to manage this project and also handle customer support. From all of us at Abstract Instruments, thanks for your support, and we look forward to delivering the raw analog sound of the VS1.